Hello creative friends, this is Joy. So I decided to do a quick art journal page in my Dino Weekly Media Journal. And I decided to do this uh, art journal page with um, some stencils and some stays on ink. So this is a stencil from Dina Ravely. This is um, a stencil with borders. And I decided to use um, some green stays on ink to um, add these arrows down the right side of my page. Um, I previously uh, went through my stash of quotes and picked out a quote that I liked and wanted to use on the page and um, and then kind of went from there. And that's, you know, how I decided what to put on the page and what colors to use. Um, the quote has um, green and red in it, so I wanted to use those on this page. So stays on ink, if you spray it with alcohol or spray alcohol on a um, piece of kitchen towel like I did here, it will come off your stencils um, as long as you do it, you know, fairly quickly um, afterwards. Otherwise, it will stain and be permanent on the stencils. And I like to keep, you know, my stencils and and things fairly clean so I went ahead and uh, used some alcohol to get that off and then here's the uh, red that I wanted to put on this page and use another one of these borders to go down the left side of the page and it was just easier for me to turn it upside down to get this in that crease as close as I could get it um, so that's what I'm doing here just trying to get that um, red down um, in the crease with this uh, one border stencil and it wasn't you know perfect but you know who cares <laughs> um, you know I was just having fun creating you know this this art journal page and again I used some alcohol on um, a piece of kitchen towel to get that off and I had to go over it because red is really pretty strong so I had to go over it twice to get it off, but it, it did eventually come off. So I was, you know, happy for that. So that's the, you know, how you can get stays on ink off of uh, your stencils or any surfaces as long as you, you know, do it fairly quickly. So I have this Tim Holtz um, stencil that um, I wanted to put some of these designs in the background. And I'm just using brown stays on ink for this. And I need to either get a new ink pad or get um, some ink to refill this ink pad because it's getting pretty dried out. So I was having some issues with it trying to, you know, get this on here. But I did manage, you know, to get uh, enough on this page like I was uh, wanting to do. So um, I just went all over the background um, using different areas of this stencil to try to not completely fill up the background but you know I, I did want to have quite a bit on the background um, quite a few of these shapes and um, different things on the background so and I'm trying to move it around so that I'm getting different parts of it as you see me doing here but um, I really like the way this turned out. It didn't take me hardly any time at all. It was, um, you know, something just uh, to do. And like I said, I did um, find a quote that I really liked to my stash. And so then, you know, the rest of it seemed to come together pretty quickly once I had my quote. And so here again, I just sprayed um, alcohol on the stencil. And then um, the brown just wipes right off of there. So. So after I got this um, all cleaned off, I got another stencil from Dinah Wakely that I used um, on this page to ha show, uh, to use as my focal point um, on the page. And so this uh, stencil here is just uh, silhouettes. And so I decided to use the three silhouettes cross bottom with some black stays on ink. So that's what I'm using. Um, you know as my focal point on this page and 
it goes on fairly you know easily as you see there the hardest part is holding the stencil still <laughs> so uh, that's uh, it kept wanting to slide around so anyway but I got it you know the image is on there um, good enough so I was you know okay with it and I wanted to darken that one on the left because it wasn't as dark as the other two so I had to put it back on there to darken it and a little bit on the middle one so I got the three images on there and again um, just used alcohol uh, to clean the stencil off uh, from the black stays on ink you know just squirted it on you know kitchen towel or paper towel and just wiped it off and as you can see it comes off fairly easily with uh, alcohol and so then I end up getting my quote and so I decided on a quote that says the only person that you are destined to become is the person you decide to be which is from Ralph Waldo Emerson I get asked a lot um, by people where do I get my quotes or get these quotes and I get a lot of them from Woman's World magazine which my mom she picks up all the time and when she's done with them she gives them to me and then I get to go through them and take out you know whatever I want to want to keep for my you know art journaling and scrapbooking and I did use a permanent um, glue stick to adhere that to the page that, which I found works the best I don't like it when I put stuff down and it comes back up so permanent glue stick always works the best and then I decided that this page needed just a little bit more um, to to it so as you see here I just took a black um, this is a I think a sharpie pen um, and felt tip pen and I'm going around um, the border the stencil border that I put on here um, I usually don't do so good with the felt tip pens because I have such a heavy hand I have to remind myself not to press so hard because nine times out of ten I will ruin the pen the first time I use it next time I go to use it it will you know not work because I would have ruined the tip but uh, anyway so that's what I did um, to kind of get the border to stand out a little bit more it wasn't standing out as much as I wanted to and then I felt like those silhouettes needed to be put on some kind of a platform and um, as you see here I decided to also go around my quote and so that's pretty much the page for today um, let's see what do I decide to do oh yes I decided that I wanted to do more on the silhouettes so I'm using a white um, let's see it's not a Posca pen which I usually use this is a sharpie a white sharpie around these silhouettes and as you see I was having a bit of a hard time with it it's not showing up as much as I'd like to so I believe I did end up getting a um, white Posca pen um, but anyway if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel to see more I just do this because I enjoy um, doing this and sharing with everyone um, you can also leave me a comment if you'd like to leave me a comment and so let's see what next I believe that's it I'm happy with the page as it is so thank you for stopping by and watching the video and we'll talk to you guys again next time bye bye